once we won the power pitch money like it you know so much of our sales is online and we knew that that we need to be able to sell our product online so I ended up spending a lot of it on photography equipment. Uh -huh. So we had a um, so Jesse was able to you know buy a lot of new tools that she needed renewing um, because she had all these ten year ten year old you know jewelry tools. Yeah. And so um, she ended up being able to you know upgrade all of her tools with the five thousand dollars. But then also we made a large investment in photography because we just needed to up our game in terms of what people can see about the product. And so people follow our daily stories on Instagram and on Facebook of Jesse just making jewelry. Yeah. And so that created like this huge boost in sales for us because suddenly like um, our backstory as a as a brand became an interest to people. And so our sales doubled. They've been doubling every year since we started. So this year I was a judge at Power Pitch, <laughs> and it was a really fun um, opportunity because I got to really hang out with Anna from who won the Power Pitch the year before I did. And the thing was, is I thought it was gonna just be e just you know easier than being in the competition but it's not <laughs> it's not a it's not an easy experience at all to tell to gauge a bunch of people who have all these amazing and unique ideas and they see niches and they see in their communities and they see needs and they're and they're coming to you with these products that they have this this complete belief in knowing that they're filling those needs in their communities and we're sitting here okay which which product are we gonna choose that is meeting the most need for these communities? And then also balancing that with how can we best support somebody or who's in the best position for our support. The funny thing about judging is all of the judges as a collective had different ideas of when it came to businesses. So the people who were in my you know my list of top three, this is this is my first, second, and third place, they were like, you know, bottom for some for another judge. And uh, which was really interesting because it, it re we began to see as judges that um, we had different perceptions of what we were understanding about the product, understanding about the, the need for the product in the world, yeah, and also the, the the ability of the of the entrepreneur to follow through. And so it was it was a tough one, but it was also endearing to just know that there's so many indigenous people out there who are bringing the services that we need in our communities and bring, really bringing them to life.